I was just really happy. Um, I've always really loved the cars. I think it's such a kind of a, an amazing icon and logo. I love very much uh, in that film, Christian F., there's a, a moment when there's a, a neon Mercedes logo on the building in Berlin, and that's always kind of fixated in my mind. And actually, when we were shooting in Stuttgart, we saw a neon Mercedes emblem on the top of a building, so I thought that was really cool. So I was really excited. I, I, I think they're wonderful cars, very luxurious, fun to drive, look great, you know, and it, it just seemed like it was going to be great and very exciting. Well, the way I would interpret the concept Accelerate the Pulse is to try to do something that's very kind of just spontaneous and has like a lot of energy and a, a freedom, you know, and the kind of like timeless and classic elegance, <laughs> very James Bond, you know, I, I, I kind of like, you know, fast and sexy and cool and yeah. Well, yes, I used to play in bands and stuff. Well, I couldn't play bass very well, and I'm tone deaf, so I can't sing at all. Um, so I just, you know, I didn't think things were going to go that well. And uh, anyway, I picked up a camera one day, and I just kind of fell in love with taking pictures. So my real dream, though, is to be a hairdresser. And I did drop out of beauty school, so I'm definitely thinking about maybe going back to get my cosmetology license so I could work in a salon one day. No, I've worked with a lot of people and, you know, um, I, I think it's really exciting to, you know, I'm just, Jessica Stam, I've known for a long time and shot her a bunch and I think she's, she's really great and so perfect for this. I, when I knew that, you know, and heard that she was doing it, I got really excited and I think I'm such a fan of Giles, I think he's such an incredible designer. And I, you know, I figured that, you know, the whole collaborative effort would be, you know, we'd be able to come up with something really special and awesome. So, you know, I was just thrilled, thrilled to bits. Well, it depends. Uh, you know, cars can be used for many different things, right? I mean, definitely there's a, a status thing or a kind of luxury thing, or which is kind of like an accessory. It's like some sort of, you know, a statement of what kind of car you're seeing. In. But, you know, I also think cars, most people get cars because it's a very practical thing and they enjoy driving them and they need to get to places. So, you know, I think it's a little bit of both, you know, but I think certain people in certain countries spend a lot of time. Like when I live in California, you're in a car all the time and it was kind of nice to be in a car that you felt really good about and like enjoy driving, you know, and I think that's really key and I think that's where, you know, Mercedes makes really awesome cars from the, the new ones to even the old, you know, ones from the 80s and stuff. I think you're just, you know, you, it's a certain kind of feeling you get when you're in it, when you're in it and you're driving and it's, you know, it's something that's quite cool, I think, so.